In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up your categories in your Tiller Foundation template. And once everything is set up on your categories page, show you how that then applies and transfers to your monthly budget. So once you're done setting up your categories, you actually have a workable, usable budget that you can use every single month with Tiller Money. All right, so here we are on your categories tab of your Tiller Foundation template. In order to make this usable and specific to your budget and your expenses, we actually have to change quite a few things on here. And we're gonna start with our categories. We need to change all of these categories so that they match your actual real life expenses and your income. And the reason that we have to have these categories match up with what you actually spend money on in your real life expenses is because these categories directly correlate to your transactions page. And when you are categorizing your transactions, you have a drop down list of categories to choose from and it pulls that list from this tab. And so the first thing you're gonna have to do is look at what you spend money on and just start customizing this first column under categories. This might take a few minutes to do. I'm actually gonna do this myself and match it up with my personal own budget. And so take a few minutes right now and go ahead and go ahead and start entering in your expenses and entering in your income and savings and all the things that you spend money on every single month. All right, now I have all of my categories set up. This is mimicked for my actual budget. Once you're done with that, we're gonna look at the, the group. So every expense, every savings, everything that comes in fits into some sort of group. And this helps keep things organized in your budget and you can keep all your kid expenses together if you have kids or your pet expenses or your all of your like utilities and bills in one section in your budget so it's nice and neat and organized. So the budget that I was previously using had these sections already set up so I'm actually gonna just apply those in there. If you're not sure what category an expense or saving fits into, just make up your own. Or you can model yours after the ones they have here, like bills, discretionary, kids, living expenses, income, those types of things. You can already use their pre-made ones and then add some of your own. Or if you wanna use the ones that I use, just give me a minute to type all mine in. I'll fast forward through that section. And you can use any of those that you want that makes sense for your budget. All right, so I've got all my groups set up. So each expense, each income, each savings is set up so it's got its own group. So I've got, I used home expenses, living expenses, kids, cause we've got kids, transportation, like gas for the car, oil change, repairs, annual fees for the credit cards we have, and then just our income for teaching income. All right, next up, we are looking at the type of transaction it is. Is this expense or is this income? And then they actually have a third one in here for transfer. You can also add in your own type of expense in there if you wanted to do that. For me, I'm just gonna generally use income and expense. And so I'm gonna take a minute, go through, and all these really are gonna be expense. And I found you can actually just drag that down. Um, that took all of four seconds. I just clicked on the box, clicked the little blue thing, and drag it down, and it changed all the ones that I want to as expense and then income. All right, if there are any of these you wanna hide from your actual budget, you can do that too. I'm going to choose to not do that. I want all these things showing up in the actual budget. Now we're gonna set up how much you actually spend on each of these categories. How much is your income? How much you save for each of your savings goals every single month? And that's where you're gonna do this here. Um, so whatever your budget is for each of these categories, you're gonna type it in January. So if my mortgage is 879, actually it's 1079 and 32 cents. It's going to automatically populate that for all the other rest of the months of the year. The electricity for me fluctuates and goes up and down. I'm gonna put about a hundred. And so if you have any that are like estimates or a bill that fluctuates or you spend a different amount on groceries every single month, you can put in your best estimate and your budget will help you track to see if you're going over every single month, you can maybe increase that monthly allotment. Or if you're going under every single month, you can maybe decrease that. So take a few minutes and look at your bills, look at your income statements, look at your online banking to figure out how much you're spending on each of these things. If they're bills, like some of these top ones for me, that's pretty easy to put in. But if it's a flexible expense, it might take a little guesswork until you can figure that out. So take a couple minutes now, just like I'm doing, and enter those in. Now that we've got all of our budget categories set up and our entire categories page, we can see how this translates to our monthly budget. So now that I click on the monthly budget tab, this is now automatically going to have all of that stuff I just entered in on this tab and it's really stinking cool. And I've got this set up for the month of June. I can change this to really any month I want and look at it. And it does some really cool things. It automatically takes everything from your categories tab of your spreadsheet and it inputs it here along with 
the types of expenses and income you have, the group that you put that in, the type of expense, and your allotted amount that you budget for that budget category. So we can look at my income is here at the top. I just got one type of income and it's teaching paycheck. And so I've got that in there. And then all my expenses are broken down into the different sections that I gave them. And it looks like they're in alphabetical order um, just by default. So I've got um, education expenses is 1% of my overall budget, which is kind of cool. I like that it adds that in there. Entertainment, and it's got all the types of expenses under there, budget categories. I've got giving and tithing, which is 12% of our budget. And it's got the three in there. All right, so you can kind of see that it's got all of those budget categories in here automatically. Next thing we're gonna look at is, this is how much we are budgeting for that. So that's taking this details and information from a categories tab and inputting it here. This is how much we expect our income to be. This is how much we expect our expenses to be for each of those budget categories. And then we've got our actual expenses that we are actually spending money on. So as we are going through our transactions and categories are categorizing our transactions, it is going to automatically update that right here for you. You don't have to tediously enter stuff in. You just have to, I'll just pull this up. You just have to click for, from a drop down menu here. So this is at, was at a bottle shop. So that is alcohol. This is at Aldi. So that is groceries. All I have to do is update that there. And then I can go back to my monthly budget. I suppose I have to be in the correct month because those were in July. That 21, 15 and alcohol is already there. Since I have a zero budgeted amount in there that expected on that, it marks it as I'm over budget there. I've got groceries at, it automatically put it in at $59. And so I've got $440 left of this. So this is a really powerful tool and I love how simple and easy this is to use. It took me maybe all of 15 minutes to set up those, the categories page. And now it automatically reflects everything in my budget as soon as I start categorizing transactions. So that is how to set up your categories so that you can use your monthly budget template. I hope this video is helpful. And if you are looking for more information on Tiller Money, check out some of my other videos I've made on Tiller. I've got a whole playlist dedicated just for using Tiller Money and getting set up with Tiller.